What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to get your Revit project ready to be printed off and displayed or shown to the public. So, first what you want to do is scroll down in your project browser and then click the plus by sheets if this doesn't appear and you will have a list of sheets. Now I have mine set up custom here with everything that I need so I can just click right here on my first floor plan and as you can see the first floor plan is in there now you you will see a lot of stuff you don't want in there you see these elevations and such and you see these cameras and there's just a lot of stuff that you don't want in there so what you want to do is scroll back up to your first floor so what you want to do is just hide all these different cameras here so I'm just holding control and drawing a box around each one of these and now I'm gonna just right click on them and then click hide in view elements now as you can see those are gone just make sure you do not delete them also here I have my kitchen callout I do not want to show that on that sheet view so on I'm just gonna hide those and then now I'm gonna hide these interior elevations here and I can also hide a lot of useless furniture if you have any of that in there or trees or whatever just make sure it's just the basic plan with all your annotations. Now when I go back to the first floor plan here, you will see that now I don't have any of that. But as you can see, it doesn't really take up much of the sheet, and it's really kind of small. So to fix that, all you have to do is click on the actual plan itself, and then come over here to View Scale. And you can click on the down arrow, and you can make it just a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll make this one 3 8 And then now as you can see... Now that is actually a little bit too big, so one fourth is the biggest I can make it, so I'll just have to deal with that, and I can just put it right here in the center. And now as you can see, you get this little first floor line here that can be kind of annoying. So just make sure your actual plan is centered and where you want it. Then click off, and to move this line, you have to make sure you click off your plan, because you're not going to be able to move it when you have the plan selected. Click off your plan then just click on the line all by itself and then you can drag this line around and your plan will not move with it but to extend this line or make this line smaller you have to click on the plan and drag this little blue dot here it gets really confusing but once you get the hang of it you should be fine now all you have to do is depending on your template here just type your name or your owner's name and then your project name and then you can print and then a lot of this is exactly the same here so for the foundation plan here I will click on that as you can see it does not automatically bring the plan in so I have to scroll up here in my project browser and just drag this foundation plan right in here and then once I annotate that it will have all the numbers and such like that so if this video helped you out please give me a thumbs up thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video